Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We are doing a type of series that I rarely do here on this channel and that is ranking NBA players. The reason I rarely do that is because it's a losing battle. No matter how much time or effort or thought you put into your list, it's going to get destroyed and people are going to hate on you. Lucky for you guys, I put zero time or effort or knowledge into the well, I'm gonna put knowledge into it. <laughs> I didn't do it yet, but I'm going to, man. Um, because you know, I like I, I like to do these type of lists, like 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 gut instinct off the top of my head. You know, more so the eye tests and stuff like that, right, man? So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, all I ask you guys is please leave a like on the video. There's gonna be a lot of trolls leaving dislikes and stuff, so you don't mind leaving that like. You know, showing that crispy support would be greatly appreciated. And of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, so the way I'm going to be handling this is very similar to how I handled my conference rankings list. If you guys saw that video a few days ago, you know, in, instead of focusing saying like, oh like you have like De'Aaron Fox over like Shea Gilders Alexander by like one spot like crispy that's trash it's like that's not really important and that's also something that can be discussed and uh just overall it doesn't matter so I like to do it more based off of tiers I like to have guys you know in the top five point guards top 10 point guards 15 20 25 30 um and then you can argue yourself you know if you think what that order is I feel like that's just a better way to do it and uh it just leads to more better discussions right man so let's go ahead and get going on this starting off with Cole Anthony so Cole Anthony for the Orlando Magic I'm, I thought Jalen would be starting but uh also I didn't make this list or anything so I gotta go based off what's actually seen in front of me so uh Cole Anthony uh I think for now there's so many talented guys in the NBA he's gonna be in that top 30 range you know 25 to 30 range plain and simple no really other way to put it about it man um he'll, he'll get there in time he showed a lot of uh <clears throat> really good moments for the magic at times uh last year but uh yeah there's just guys that are better than him right now damian lillard pretty easy i got damian as a top five point guard in the nba uh yeah pretty easy one right there okay d'angelo russell is interesting because we can't think about the past we gotta think about what we see right now and uh you know in the past i mean the man was an all-star on the brooklyn nets he's been having some injury issues and stuff like that when he was playing with the minnesota t wolves he looked pretty nice out there um i think for now i have him in the top 15 range but that could change by the course of this video uh next up we have darius garland so i personally do like the darius garland colin sexton backcourt uh, i think garland is a good player i think he shows really good moments i still think he also shows moments where you definitely see the young type of player he is uh, I once again see so many players on this list that I would probably most definitely take over him right now, where I probably have to have him in this range just for right now. Because I look at this, I'm like, yeah, he's probably in that range. Uh, which a lot of that, man, it's like, it's like that's not so much about, like, skill set. It's more so has to do with there's other guys, you know, just recently that have proven themselves more. And, like, you'll get there in time type of thing. Not really saying, like, you're a bad point guard. You'll just, you gotta earn that ranking, right? You gotta earn that ranking. Okay, next up we have Ben Simmons. This one's difficult because like, like, this is definitely one that can get you in trouble. Ben Simmons, the worst offensive point guard in the NBA. The best defensive point guard in the NBA. Basketball is 50-50. Half defense, half offense. So for now, based off that assumption alone, I gotta have him in top 15. And I'm not saying he's better than D'Lo. He's just in that tier with D'Lo. So I just have him right there. All right, uh, next up we have De'Aaron Fox. I think De'Aaron Fox is one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Uh, for me personally, I'm going to have him in a top, as a top 10 point guard. I think he is better than Ben Simmons. I think there's a reason that uh, the Kings are not rushing to trade De'Aaron Fox for Ben Simmons. So uh, yeah, he's just one of the quickest dudes in the NBA, man. And get to the basket and uh, I can put on scoring frenzies. He's really good. Um, next up we have DeJounte Murray. By the way... I think I'm saying everybody's... I, I know I got all these dudes right. I was a little unsure about Cole Anthony. I was like, that's Cole Anthony, right? I uh, didn't watch too many Magic games last year. Uh, but yeah, DeJounte Murray. Um, You know, to me, he's like... This is going to sound disrespectful. He's like point guard Draymond Green. Where he's going to do a little bit of everything and play some really good defense in the process. But he ain't going to like put up crazy-ass numbers. Maybe every once in a while he'll have a game and everything. But I'm at probably top 25 range for right now. Top 25 feels good for him. Uh, next up, we got Dennis Schroeder. So, a few years ago, he was, uh, you know, in the running for sixth man of the year. Obviously, he had not a great season with the Lakers, and his, his uh, contract situation did not work out quite so well. Um, looking at other dudes on the list, Schroeder is most definitely in that top 30 range. He really is. Wow. Damn, the NBA is talented, man. The NBA is so talented. Okay, uh, next up, we have CP3. CP3. So, for Chris Paul, top five impact point guard. But you want to look at the stats and everything, which, you know, it all kind of goes hand in hand. I think for now, 
I'm going to have CP3 as a top five. We'll see if that changes. We'll see if that changes. Okay, um, next up we have Devontae Graham. So, Devontae last season was fine for the Hornets. He was better the season before. I do think that... Uh, I don't think he's better than Lonzo Ball, so I don't. I didn't really like that replacement, but I understand that at least they had to do something. Probably in the top 30 range for right now. Top 30 range. And then Goran Dragic, I'm going to say... Man, like Goran Dragic, Devontae. This one, this one gets difficult, man, because like... Okay, let me just toss him in here real quick. Yeah, I'm going to do Killian Hayes, top 30. Like, that's it, right? So I got to look at all these point guards, and I'll be like, okay, who's moving up the top 25? Goran Dragic's injury prone, and he's old. So I think I'm okay with keeping him in top 30 for right now. Do I want Schroeder? Dev I think I probably want Devontae Graham over Schroeder. Sorry, Celtic fans. I just think that's where I'm at with things. I could be wrong about that. And that's and that's that's the better argument that I want to have is like okay top twenty five or top three like what tier should these guys be in like that's a better argument than saying like oh you know Devonte twenty eight uh, Schroeder twenty nine or whatever like that's just stupid right uh, next up we have John ja Morant out of respect for other guys on this list John ja I'm gonna have his top fifteen for right now for right now I'm gonna have his top fifteen that can change uh, Jamal Murray when healthy I think is a top ten point guard John Wall. John Wall's top 20. He's, he's top 20. If he was completely healthy and playing his game, he'd be top 10, top 15. But uh, right now, just based off everything we know about him, he's top He's top 20. Uh, Drew Holiday, I'm going to give him in that top 10 range because just his defense is amazing. He really proved himself a lot last season on the Bucks, and I think he's extremely underrated. Yeah, some dudes are going to have to get moved down pretty damn quickly, man. I'm already seeing dudes. I'm, I'm already seeing myself running into issues. Um, Kemba Walker, I think, is kind of in the same realm right now as, as John Wall, where he just, we, we know what he can do, but also we also know what he is right now. And he's he has a lot to prove. He has a lot, he has a lot to prove to show that he's the same player he is, and I think he probably can do that with the Knicks. I really think so. Um, next up, we have Kyle Lowry. I'm going to have Kyle Lowry in the top, top, whew. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say top 15 range for right now might have to revisit that tier. Kyrie Irving, top five point guard. Last year had probably his best season in his entire NBA career. Uh put up literally MVP efficiency type of numbers. He was fantastic. Okay, uh next up we have LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball, LaMelo Ball. Okay, LaMelo, rookie of the year. I think he's like I look at LaMelo and I'm like, do I have him like in this top? It, oh man it's so hard to say because like he was injured a lot last season and he did have efficiency issues at times but he was also rookie of the year man i feel like i gotta move ben simmons down i feel like ben simmons is gonna get moved down to the top 20 tier and Lamelo, i'm putting him in the top 15 he had that wow factor that ben simmons just doesn't have ben simmons you know what you're gonna get Lamelo ball you're gonna be like damn bro you can do that yeah that feels right uh, let's grab Luka Doncic real quick here. Luka Doncic to me is in the top five range. No doubt. That one's easy. That one's very easy. Um, let's grab up. Yeah. Steph Curry has to be top five. Russell Westbrook still in my top 10 range. And that's what, he, and, and this is where it gets interesting with the discussion. Like, would you prefer Chris Paul in his leadership or would you prefer Russell Westbrook in his stats? And that's okay to feel different about that one. It's okay to feel different about that one. And once again, guys, I got to reiterate that this is not in order. I'm not saying that Russell is worse than De'Aaron, Jamal, and Drew. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not saying that. Um, Malcolm, man, Lonzo Ball. I'm kind of holding off on Lonzo Ball right here, man, because it's pretty difficult. Oh, we got Trey Young up next. Okay. Trey Young top 10 for sure. For sure. Man. CP3, I love what you did for Phoenix. Man, this is hard. That's what she said. Oh my God, this is tough. Alrighty, who, okay, so who do we got left on this list right here that can be in that top 15 range? I'm going to say probably... I personally look like Malcolm Brogdon a bit better than Lonzo Ball. Brogdon is a very silent type of killer out there, man. He, he really is. Lonzo, top 20. 
Oh, we got Shay. I don't even think about Shay. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I guess we got to do this. Brogdon top twenty. Let's bump. To me, Shea is a top ten point guard. He is. And I guess because of his injury and the what if factor, I guess we'll bump down Jamal to top 15. We'll do that. Reggie Jackson. And I guess in theory, that would leave these three guys right here. But I don't feel great about that. I don't feel great. Man, I feel like John Wall has more to prove. John Wall going down in top 25 area. And I think I'm going to move up. Mike Conley, a top 20. I mean, he was an all-star caliber player last year, right? He was an all-star caliber player. <sighs> Man. There's so many. I, I, I swear, guys, I could literally delete this list, and it would probably look completely different if I tried it again. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me break. The, okay, top five, we had Damian, Kyrie, Luca, Steph, Trey. Not in that order. Top five. De'Aaron, CP3, Shea, Drew, Russell. Top 15. Lowry. Ja, D'Lo, Lamelo, and Jamal. Top 20. Ben Simmons, Lonzo Ball, Malcolm Brogdon. Kemba, Mike Conley. 25. DeJounte, Dinwiddie, Devante. John, Reggie, Reggie, you had that nice playoff series. Hmm. Darius, Darius in the top twenty-five range. He better than Reggie Jackson. Reggie's had a good playoff series. So we're also thinking about that. And then top three, we got Killian, Goron, Cole, Reggie, and Schroeder. My concerns with my list. But also things that I can't really justify that maybe you guys can point out. Lamelo in top 15? That's right, right? Like, he's the one that's staring at me in the face. He's the one staring at me in the face. I think beyond that, tier-wise, we did okay. We did okay. And I mean, I, I have a feeling there'd be some people mad about Trey in the top five over Russell and CP3 and even Darren Fox. But I like what I saw from him last year, man. This is it. This is my list. I ain't going back on it. That's all we got for this video, man. I'm going to get roasted. I'm going to get roasted, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you want me to do shooting guards next, leave a like on the video. Okay, that's all we got. Peace out, everybody.